Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus Channel. The average commercial aircraft carries around 3,500 gallons of jet fuel. One of the most hazardous and combustible substances known to man. So, when a crash or other incident occurs at an airport, there needs to be a fire truck on the scene as soon as possible, since the smallest spark could generate an inferno in just a matter of minutes. These vehicles, also known as crash tenders, are much more than just your average fire truck. Crash tenders carry large volumes of water and fire retardant foam, have multiple nozzle types, and can use their powerful engines to reach the source of a blaze in no time. They are extremely versatile machines with some surprising state-of-the-art features. The truck comes with infrared cameras, which have been brilliant. We've done a lot of training with those. Uh, it's much more maneuverable than the old P23. Um, it still carries the same dry chem system, but we now have a, the turret that can administer both at the same time. That's a great advantage as well. There is no standard design for a modern firefighting vehicle. In fact, there are several major companies building different models of firefighting trucks. Those serve the over 40,000 international airports operating around the world. All crash tenders, however, are designed to keep the crew safe and away from the blaze while the machine itself does the extinguishing. It makes sense as firefighters are always at risk of injury and even death from explosions and backdrafts. Unfortunately, for the moment, there's no way to completely remove the human element from firefighting. In fact, it takes entire teams of first responders to effectively deal with emergency situations. Command SQ25, rescue 516. especially in massive airports like LAX in Los Angeles, where Station 80 operates. It's important to remember that airport tarmacs are among the most dangerous places in the world. Hundreds of vehicles and thousands of personnel are buzzing around 24 hours a day. Many of these are commercial aircraft traveling at hundreds of miles per hour, sometimes with hundreds of people on board. But while airport fires certainly pose a threat for firefighters, nothing compares to what these brave professionals encounter in the open forest. In the US and Canada, wildfires have become an enormous problem. In California alone, millions of acres are lost every single year. In 2021 alone, over 8,600 wildfires burned 2.6 million acres of forest, with three fatalities and more than 3,600 structures damaged. It's a big reason why Cal Fire has been recruiting seasonal firefighters to help them deal with the problem. Fortunately, major advances in technology are ensuring the firefighters on the ground also get the much needed help from above. Uh, water buckets, we tie, uh, hook it up to the cargo hook underneath the 60 and uh, whatever the firefighters on the ground need, to, they need water placed along the fire line to give dozers time to work in fire line, to uh, help them work with 
hand lines that they're working in and get some water to cool things down, all of that, whatever the ground crews out there on the fire line need, we help support them with it. Nowadays, however, water is no longer the only effective firefighting substance out there. Okay, we got a good look at her there. Special chemical fire retardants have been developed that can stop a blaze dead in its tracks. So, where water is focused on putting out the flames, the fire retardant keeps it from spreading. This is why it's largely dropped around the perimeter of a blaze. If it properly coats the forest floor and plants, the fire will not be able to move past. This type of precision dropping takes a lot of practice. So it's not uncommon for Cal Fire crews to spend hours doing target drop rehearsals at special outdoor facilities. However, a few thousand gallons of any liquid released from a plane can pose a serious hazard to the firefighters working below. This is because fire retardant, though mostly water, also contains other harmful chemicals and about 10% fertilizer. Another vital tool in the fight against wildfires is the Modular Airborne Firefighting System, or MAFS. This is a special unit that can be installed into the cargo bay of a large aircraft like the C-130 allowing for the targeted release of up to 3,000 gallons of water or fire retardant. Its multi-directional nozzle ensures that crews don't have to drop their payload in a haphazard manner. We all know that there's a lot at risk. We hear it time and time again once we're back on the ground at the fire bases and we see the guys that have come in from being on the fire lines who are just filthy with uh, dirt and soot and ash and they're giving us a fist bump and a thank you for seeing uh, you know, the retardant come down. While we're uh, able to help out, they're the ones that are doing the run of the work and, and actually digging the lines and uh, stopping the fire. From all indications, the use of this effective system will serve us well in the ongoing battle against wildfires, which are making our war against climate change a tougher challenge. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.